Hey everybody, this is Rido, and we're back to The Walking Dead Season 3, or A New Frontier. I guess I'll just be calling it Season 3. Let's continue. Um, we really didn't get that far, so uh, the question right now is, how do we switch to the point where we'll play as Clementine again, or is Clementine not going to be the playable character in this story? Uh, it could be that that's the case. That'd just be very, very weird because we know she's going to be in the story. Uh, we've been introduced to probably the new characters that we'll deal with for a while. Or we're still getting introduced to them. Here's our character, Javier, with his sister-in-law. I don't know if her, what her name is. Is it Sally? And... Javier and Sally have been on the road with her stepchildren, a teenage boy, and a preteen girl. Um, Sally seems to be uh, both mentally uh, wanting to check out and not take care of these kids in the middle of the zombie apocalypse. Some time has happened since the initial outbreak. Let's see. You want a moment alone, Mari? I turned up the subtitles to what? I'm praying large. I find a candy bar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do we actually need? Uh, a candy bar. Hmm. Need Mariana, not want. Let's go with basically need a candy everything. Bar. Pretty much everything. So Good now the subtitles for? are really Let's big use... compared to the choice right. options. Well, let's start with some gas and move up from there. Hmm. And I don't know if I really like being connected to the Telltale website because it just puts more icons on the screen. Alright, so I'm gonna grab this crowbar and do some quick time events, which is really the only interactions in this game. And I hit B, and as soon as I hit B, it just jumped to the end there. Hey, where are you going? Okay, that's cool. Have fun. Hmm. Oh, Jesus. It never ends with him. I hate yeah, when they I mean, fight like just, that. I really hate it. Just saw a zombie. It's like all Gabe wants to do is argue. Doesn't matter what it's about. Hmm. Hey. I know it's I could say do. nothing, but I they I fight, would really they never and they agree fight with all over that. Again. At least you have your headphones. Yeah, like in the first outbreak, the have been dead for a Javier weeks. didn't have a beard and he was punched in I the face. I mostly wear them to fool you guys. Hmm. You shouldn't ignore us. It's easier to stay out of it that way. <laughs> you, you sneaky little. <laughs> That's smart. That's pretty smart. Be nice to find hmm. some dinner. In a junkyard. Hmm. You never know. These past four years, people have been hoarding all kinds of shit in all kinds of places. So it's been four years since the oh, initial Mari, outbreak. If there's any trouble, you can find one of these cars. Yeah? Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even once it's quiet. And wait as long as you can. Okay. Hmm. Good girl. See, I the thing I don't think you can do here, and I don't think even Clementine can do this uh is i don't think you can just tell the same story as season one over and again I, I just don't think that's gonna work uh here we have some highlights uh frankly i i am starting to feel like i should turn on the minimalistic uh sub menu like just to see what this would look like Otherwise, you can't move the camera or look the other direction. You... And I have to kind of wonder, and compare this to Life is Strange, the first season of Life is Strange, and think about, of the both games, which were very... Let's see, can I actually go into the Minimalistics uh, interface? Um, gameplay, minimal display style, save ch changes, so what does that look like now? 
The only thing that disappears is the prompts. The collection of your items still are there. And apparently people that we can talk to are still here. And I don't think there's actually going to be too much of this in anyways. And you, you're definitely going to miss things if you play. Just normal. rotting bits of old rubber and tires. Hmm. The, the thing that I would say that very possibly makes Life is Strange a better game than this series, which uh, both predates and postdates it, uh, that game is the idea of having a gameplay mechanic and Most a rewind of, the is torn out. Seats of are gone. time mechanic. Yeah, this thing's dead. Like, that's something that would have been really nice for... Uh, for the Walking Dead series and Telltale Game series to have is if you could just undo your choices. Oh, that's gross. Hmm. See a bunch of Chinese writing on shipping containers. Let's go and poke it. Okay. Now I'm sorry I did that. Hmm. Yeah, you're just gonna totally miss things. You, you literally cannot play this way. You see that van right there? Is the van from the first season. At least visually it is. Let's go back to settings. Gameplay. Standard style. The menu is difficult to deal with. Let's see, Kate to talk to. And the idea here Waste oil. is to find some things, no I imagine. Like, clearly, this is supposed to be at least a visual reference to the first season. How that van would have gotten there is ridiculously impossible. Let's see. We've got something up here. Acetylene. Handy for welding, but not much else. Yeah, this is almost a just class on here's all of the things that they've animated before uh, and they're trying I don't think to these tires it. would fit the van. It seems like we're, we're gonna keep going so let's let's just go in a linear fashion I imagine let's go back and talk to everybody have as much of a conversation as possible if we find a reason to go back and have second conversations with people that's fine let's talk to Mariana hey any luck, kiddo? I need a pen. Hmm. Or a pencil. Let's see. Just something to write with. A pen? Hmm. Why are you looking for that? See, I turned up the subtitles. I really, I really need to do. And I need a pen for it. Last hmm. night I was thinking about this stupid story my mom used to tell me all hmm. the time before bed. I used to hate it. But... <laughs> but then I realized I don't remember the ending. It was this mm. goofy ending she thought was so funny and I thought was so dumb. I want to write down everything I can remember about everything. Because mm. if I forget and they're all gone, I'm kind of gone too. At least a little bit. Makes I sense just to me. I think that might be kind of important. Maybe. That's a great idea, Mariana. Hmm. There's really no reason for me to be rude to anybody. Uh, the happier you keep any group of people in this zombie apocalypse scenario, the better. We've seen far too many scenarios where even the smallest bit of of fight infighting turns out to not not end well. So let's 
Like, but uh, in all honesty, Kate, I, I guess I called her Sally before. Kate is a write off already. I can't stop thinking about that herd. We get caught in it, and, and that's it. Peace, asshole. She sounds kind of smart and, and could be seconds. useful. Let's see, I'm going to go with that. Yeah, but try. I'd still try to charm them. What would I have to lose? It'd be pretty amusing, I'm sure. See, Until our eyeballs were ripped out of our skulls. She's trying There's to be a last mentally one, you know? run away. A last tank of gas. Last piece of food. What if this place is empty? And, and the next... And the next. We're not gonna let that happen, okay? Hmm. Okay. I let it have its five minutes. Hmm. I'm good. The funny thing is that at this point, uh, in 2018, when I'm playing this game that I believe came out in 2017, I didn't do the research, but I would guess that's about right. Uh, there are very Once possibly someone very happy. some unreal now it sits here or unity away. assets you could buy to see, get a character that. that looked better than these characters do and get graphics that look better than this uh, so let's see if we can siphon some gas out of it It's going down. And it, it seems like it's not even a big deal anymore. Hmm. They've got the siphon already set up. Hmm. Uh, the, the secret here, of course, is uh, gasoline goes much. bad but after about helps. a year. It either evaporates out or literally uh, just goes kind of flat. Of Could be really handy if we stayed for a while. So, the idea of using cars four years later in any zombie film is not realistic. Uh, I wouldn't have minded having one of these back in the day. Can I siphon this one? I have to find a dot. Come to Papa. And I guess at this point, you don't care about mixing different styles of gasoline. Barely anything. I'll need to find more. Hmm. See, this guy doesn't want to talk to me, so I can say, I can try to be nice, but it's not What's going work. on in there, buddy? I'm in a bad mood, okay? I want it to go away, but it won't. Hmm. I just wish we weren't always on the road. I like being with other people. It's just, hmm. we're in that car so damn long. The AC hasn't worked in ages, and it, it ain't my last damn tape. But we still got each other. Hmm. It's better than nothing, right? Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe just leave me alone. Okay. But if you want to talk later, I'm around. Hmm. That's more vocal than I think most teenager boys would have been, would be. Like even identifying that they're in a bad mood. This one looks promising. Not likely to to be something that happens. But what am I really doing here in the gameplay? I'm Bingo. just tapping quick time events and walking around and hitting buttons to talk to people. Uh at least in Life is strange. You could rewind time, and there were some puzzles around the idea of rewinding and fast forwarding time some and changing sort of tank. the events of the timeline or finding out information. Uh, these games really don't 
get anywhere close to that. Man, nothing up there but garbage. Hmm. And see, I've arced around in a strange way. The camera is kind of just free flowing. Uh, apparently, I need a crowbar. If I can find a candy bar, that would be nice too. If I can find a pen, that would be nice. Too risky to search up there. Doesn't look stable. Like, I honestly don't think the kids should even be that separated uh, at this point. Or if they are this separated and apart from each other, why don't they have weapons? Looks like there's more to see up Four here. years into the zombie apocalypse. Like, this is the one thing. Any luck? Some. But not enough. Like, Gabe? Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Like Gabe, stay close to Javi. Got it? Oh, all right. So they're going to separate us. So maybe that separates the group. And notice how it just kind of goes to black immediately. No fade. Uh, the intro is very artistic, but really it's just getting into low frame rate. Stuff that Look, should not be low frame. There's one they never took to this pieces. Game is really, really not good. A catch. Complicated to run a game. It should be running at a smooth 60 frames per second or higher. Uh, so, and I can't even really walk anywhere else. Looks pretty picked over. Hmm. So. Yeah. I can't even do anything with him. So I think a zombie's probably going to jump out the back of a hospital thing. You'd assume to be careful of that. Locked. Still might be gas in the tank, though. Okay. Open the tank. Shit. It's locked. Well, apparently I All can right. pry it. Here goes nothing. So I already had the pry bar. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to hold and then... What am I supposed to do in here? Am I supposed to tap it? No. Hold it. And then pull downward. Fuck yeah! That was not obvious at all. As far as what they wanted us to do. <laughs> uh... And then tap some more. Tap A some more. I've just tapped the A button. Look at all that fuel. And then it takes over control and decides to just make it. This is gonna take a while. Hmm. All right. So it apparently started the siphon, and that is that. So I assume as soon as I step away. Something's going to happen. Maybe I can walk a little bit more forward. <gasps> oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. If this was Clementine, she would have had these kids shooting guns and protecting themselves. Hmm. Looks like it came from in there. Hmm. Gabe, stay close. Stay close to the danger that I'm walking towards it's like and he still doesn't have a weapon was this the area where I left the mentally disabled girl to die in the second season because yeah I totally did that because she was never going to be anything Ransacked but a burden like they're, they're literally I get the idea, it was a compassionate idea and a difficult choice that they were trying to make me make, but the truth is it was not a difficult choice at all in a zombie apocalypse scenario. When morals go out the window and you say, look, uh, we just don't have in our crumbled, non-existent society the resources to look after a mentally disabled girl who could not understand the severity of the situation 
I see a bunch of license plates in there. I wonder if a bunch of those license plates are from previous parts Might of the game. Might be able to get in through the hatch. Hmm. <laughs> Looks pretty run down. But this might not be that either. This might just be... Oh, here's Locked. a question. Why not take your pry bar and smash the window or pry the door open? Not going to be able to pry this open. Damn it. So, and now I have to hit B to back out. And so that's going to, I'm going to be told, I'm going to send, what's his name? Do the crawl hatch, I bet, and put him in danger. And see, he's looking inside the car, like, unless you've seen something in the car or not, uh, you should... Yeah, I guess maybe I can crawl in here and then that's going to leave him in danger too. Hmm. Hmm. But yeah, he has a gun on his whole on a holster. And see, this is weird because all I'm really doing is pressing forward. Hmm. So, unless they're out of bullets, or they've just been trained not to Kid, kill anything. Come check this out. Or shoot anything unless it's directly threatening them. He, he's not, not the ready. Oh, no muertos at least. Hmm. Interesting calling them muertos. I still don't get the idea that Javier is supposed to be of uh, Mexican descent. His skin pigment just seems too pale. And, like, I don't know how you explain that when his brother was a lot darker, too. Uh, big problem, certainly, in Japanese games, too, where all, all the characters are drawn extremely pale, and the Japanese people think the characters look like they're Japanese, and the Western people in the United States think they're drawn like uh, white people, basically. Looks like there might be a secret bookcase yeah, comfortable. door. And pretty gross. Or a hole behind here. Hmm. Somebody Are you was kidding me? To Lucky here. for you. They put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Well, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. A B one, two, three. And the two just follow up. Check it out. This is actual honest to God pudding. Seriously? And it's Shut not just the door. food. There's a mattress. There's blankets. Someone else's mattress. Someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. Hmm. It doesn't feel safe. Let's see. This place does have a funny feeling about it. And if Muertos were to somehow surround us. Great. Now I'm officially creeped out. Hmm. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a So change. the idea here, I guess, is Please. they're going to get on the, the wrong side of some kind of already. other group. We should go and get ahead of it before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Mm. Why can't we just enjoy it? Javi, can we? We could stretch out, sleep well for once. Come on, you know mm. it's not a big deal. We have, to, I we say we guns. have to keep moving. We can protect ourselves. I... We're gonna get what we came for and get out of here. Great. Another shitty cramp night in our shitty cramp van. We chose to go back Hooray. on the road. Come on, let's at least grab the food. So I, I picked the relationship with, was it Katie? Hey, thanks for that. that Over the kids. All. How does it feel to be the bad guy this time? Hmm. That must be a new sensation for you. We're in this together. I don't know, oh boy, sleeping in the van again? <laughs> all I'll say is you definitely owe me one. <laughs> yeah, well, you owe me like a dozen, so 
I'll just shave it off your tab. You kind of have to establish some authority here. Can you come help us with this? Yeah. Like, there's no way hey, uh, the wait, adults you... are going to... This way you can make up for being the bad guy. Thanks. Uh, Grab some gas. There's no way that, out, that you're going to have the kids on the same level of authority as the... Uh, as the parent adults, even in a zombie apocalypse. So, what the you fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Back it up. Okay, so Go didn't on, matter what up. you chose. Uh, hmm. Let's say you can keep it. Whoa, whoa! Look, the, the gas is all there. Just keep it. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a little too late for that. Seriously? You ain't the loner type. I can tell. Hmm. I know you got He has people. some kind of letters on his tattoo. Uh, let's go with I'm alone. Uh, 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 I'm alone. Honestly, people just slow me down. Uh-huh. Hmm. All alone. Yeah, sure you are. Hmm. Fan out look for the others. Lonnie, you're with me. So, once... <laughs> we're gonna have to somehow ninja our way to take out all these people. Hey! You assholes in there! I got your boy! Hmm. You don't want him getting shot, you best Seeing come all kinds out there of visual glitches with your hands with up. Texture pop in. Go on, you first. You get ambushed by your own people. That shit's gonna make my day. Open it real slowly. Hmm. I can't don't click on it. Fuck around thing. with me, boy. So this would be interesting if this is how Javier got shot and we started playing as Clementine and Clementine swooped in and saved the day. What you think they don't know? I knew you weren't alone. Fucking knew it. Like they You're don't know about the trapdoor. How come these are all open? You can't just take what you like. I don't roll over like that. I ate all those. Yeah, me. Hmm. You? By yourself? Now, yeah, what can I say? I fucking love pudding. <laughs> you got a real smart mouth. You fucking watch what you say. Hmm. Look, I, I, I get it, all right? You're starving. Who the fuck is it? At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake? Hmm. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling <clears throat> that you're full of shit. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. Keep an eye on this dickhead. I wanna grab some cuffs. You got it. Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. Hmm. Look, just, just let me go, okay? Please. He didn't Look, say man, nope. This doesn't have to go. What the fuck was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? Why do they not know about their own? If you know something, you better spill it. Hmm. Grab crowbar. You don't want me finding out for myself. Let's grab the crowbar. Fuck! Like, clearly, Guys, this is gonna here. have to fight. Now I'm at the tap A. Some of these tap A things have certainly Holy shit. failed to work. Should have started shooting. You have to pay for what you done here. Wait, 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 don't you? Hmm. Should have started shooting immediately. I'm really hating this cloud saving icon. I think I'll probably just find a way to si sign out. We don't need two icons on the screen this whole time. Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Let's see. Please, man! Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. Hmm. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. 
I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back there. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. Let's try this again. There's gotta be a way we can work all this out. You know, make a deal or something. Hmm. It ain't my call, all right? You best be glad it ain't. Please, just stop, all right? Hmm. You don't want me riled up, kid. Not another think... word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Oh, so it doesn't Stop. give me an option oh, to, to say another word. And of course, this game has achievements, and I, I imagine most of the achievements are storyline based, and it'd be pretty easy to go back and get the other achievements that you may have missed. I'm not even being given a choice here. Uh, as far as whether I want to pick up the gun or not. Hey! He's running away. Let's see. Just let him go. Save the bullet. I don't care about that, him. I don't care about him one bit. <sighs> Zombies are the ruthless killers. Ah, <sighs> fuck. <sighs> yeah. All right. That's good. Just keep looking forward. Hmm. Yeah, let's see. Uh, let's go. Please help me out. Let's see, this is Clementine. Please, I just, I need help. Hmm. Well, that's obvious. The way your friend there ran off, I don't think he's likely to come back and save you. Hmm. Okay, now don't do anything stupid. So Clementine is just nice talking. You, I won't hesitate. Hmm. So is she just not the playable character going forward at this point? Well, wait, did you do that with the tree? Hmm. I was trying to stop the truck. That, well, Shit. that'll be interesting, certainly, in the final season. Hmm. Why? What do you need the truck for? To drive. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look, I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Hmm. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me. This is payment for saving you. Hmm. Let's see. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522, and, and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. Hmm. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard, if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, hmm. then I drive away. Let's see. Yeah, absolutely. You got a deal. Make a deal. Good. Let's go. Interesting. This really necessary? I don't know you. Hmm. I don't trust you. And I'm not taking any chances. And see, there's really no great points here to end these recordings. And I am playing, like, differently than I did a year ago, making 30 minute episodes. For a game like this, it makes certainly some more sense. But, uh, because of that. I used to do like hour long episodes and it, it there was slightly better places to stop playing uh, but man it really is just going to be pausing um, and it looks like to me the only way to sign out of the telltale account and the cloud saving which really you don't need not unless you're playing this on a tablet or something would be to go back to the main menu and I bet if I go back to the main menu 
there's a chance at least that I wouldn't be at the quite exact place where I continued or I might lose a small amount of progress or maybe all the progress uh, so we'll have to deal with the cloud saving issue probably until the uh, finishing of the first chapter now in season one the first chapter of the five chapters was was the most well written the most establishing and the longest of the episodes and then chapter two three four tended to be pretty short in in most telltale games anyways that's gonna be it for this recording as always I ask you to like share subscribe comment and watch every second of my videos if you want a friend to follow me on any social media sites there's a bunch of links down below in the description box and if you want to support me even further I'm asking people to friend me on Steam and gift me a game. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.